Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel Magnific Creator. In this video, I would like to share to you about how to make um, creative wall shelf in SketchUp. And first of all, as usual, you have to make um, existing wall with uh, any length and um, 150 millimeter for the thickness. And then you have to set set up the wall with um, three meters tall. Okay, and after that, you have to make it group anyway. You have to make it group, and then you have to continue to make um, another variant of floor. You have to push it. You have to push it down to make a um, floor component. And after that, you have to make a basic shape of this wall shelf. Um, you can you can make a um, bit line. And just um, setting up like this, and you can uh, draw like this. Just following the video, just following the video, you can uh, make an abstract shape of this wall self. Anyway, just it, just um, creative wall self, and you can end this wall self in any position as you want. Anyway. Okay, we assume that this uh, cabinet basic is uh, like this, and after that you have to put um, offset it inside. You have to offset it inside. It's around thirty millimeter, right? It's around thirty millimeter approximately. Then you have to close some open line right here. You can complete the line like this and you have to push it to the front with a push or pull tool anyway you can set the uh, any width of, of the cabinet it's around 450 millimeter okay and just make it group and then and don't forget to make a uh, another shelf you can make another shelf right here with any thickness but you have to follow the sloping area right right here then you have to push it up until it touch the bottom bottom plane of the upper shelf right then you can continue to make it in another position right just follow the cabinet the shelf and just push it up until it touch the bottom plane of the upper shelf book self anyway okay just follow this tutorial something like this you can and you can move to another appropriate position like this you can and you can continue to make it again and again then you have a um, good result and creative shape of the wall cabinet anyway then you have to make it each uh, self to the one group by right click and just press make group anyway and just make it group again and just make it group also anyway. you can make it group also and you can adjust this end of um, bookshelf right here Okay. and you can and after that you can uh, adjust some unconnected you can adjust some extended or unconnected self in this area and first of all you have to um, adjust this line you can select this single line anyway then you have to move and just uh, push it uh, move it to the bottom and you can continue to another self you can continue to another shelf right here and just push and push it back push it back anyway until it clear enough and then it um, look like nitty cabinet look like a nitty shelf anyway then you can push it back also for and you can uh, adapt this method to another connection of the shelf and cabinet to the to the another connected connected self okay you can 
push it back push it back push it back and in the last you have to adjust this connection anyway okay and after that you have to make it group you have to make it group and anyway you can make a um, background with a line something like this with a line you can follow the line and you can follow the shape of this maybe you can uh, adjust it you can adjust it anyway we okay, just follow the line anyway then just continue it and on the right side right now you can set the right side Okay, you can continue it again and just end of shape anyway. Then you can push it to the front with uh, any thickness and just make it group and move it back on the wall. Anyway. And after that, you have to um, assign the material with a formical laminated light and you can set the backdrop with a blue shape anyway you can you can see it you can see the creative wall self design anyway okay thanks for watching um i hope you can explore more for this and wait for my next video in this channel thank you